Alright guys, we're back with another video today. I'm going to be showing you how to make a song, a beat, similar in style to um, Suicide Boys' new albums or EPs, I should say. The Yang Yang Tapes and the style that they've been doing has a lot of similarity to Freddie Dread style. It's kind of lo-fi, really Memphis-inspired, really beat-driven, and it's just been kind of taking over TikTok. It's everywhere. The beats are fire, though, and inspired me to show you guys how to make one. In this, I'm going to show you how to make the B. I'm going to show you how to do some vocal effects to kind of get a similar sound to what Freddy does and what the Suicide Boys do on the Yin Yang tapes. Um, it's a lot of fun making these kind of beats and you can get super versatile. So let's just hop right into it. So to start off this beat, I didn't start with the drums. I didn't start with the melody. I didn't start with any of that. I actually started off with a vocal sample because a lot of uh, these kind of productions, especially Suicide Boys, they kind of have an older hip hop style song that they loop and it kind of has a rhythmic driving force to it. And I found this super big pack of just older kind of Memphis style songs. It's got a lot of uh, a lot of sounds in it. PlayStation got my mind on my back with the shorty for the back out of heat in my dope. These laws on my dick, man, I'm not real fraud. There's so many sounds in this. Um, I can link it down in the description if you guys are interested. But I went through and I found one that I really like and I'm going to play it for you guys real quick. With the Glock sawed off, who's the pump or nine? Basically, I dried that sample in and I made sure it fit the BPM we're at, which is 145, by clicking on the time knob and going to two bars. And that kind of sets it to whatever tempo the project's at. And I kind of just chopped it up and made a little rhythmic pattern with it. But we got to spice that up. So we added a bunch of effects. First off, I added in Dirt, which is just a super simple FX plugin from Native Instruments. And it basically kind of crushes the sound, kind of acts like a bit crusher distortion unit a little bit. You can copy these settings. Next, I went to parametric EQ. This is very important. I cut off pretty much all the low end, all the high end, and that kind of gives it that radio sounding sound, if you know what I mean. Two other important plugins I added was uh, this compressor unit. You can also use the regular fruity one. And I also added in the wear knob in Isotope Vinyl, which is free, and also set it to the 1970s year preset. And that basically crushes the sound even more, makes it sound even more radio-y. So I added in tape stop, which which comes in periodically to kind of cut out the sound a little bit. That's also free. I added in Fruity Delay and Fruity Reverb, which kind of just makes the sound wider and adds a little more flair to it. And lastly, I added in the Wave Sound Shifter plugin. I love this thing. It basically just takes the sound and you can just pitch it up, pitch it down to whatever you want. It's super simple and super easy and it makes the sounds sound more interesting. So with all that being done, I added in some automation on those effects I talked about and this is what it sounds like. So after I had that sample laid down, the next logical step was to set up the drums. And I noticed in the Yin Yang tapes and also Freddie Dredd's production, the drums are usually pretty simple, I want to say, but they're always hard hitting and just really make the song a banger. So the first thing I did was lay down the simple drum kick progression and I added in Fruity Soft Clipper, brought up the post all the way. This makes the drum kick hit harder, especially if you go to the sample and turn up the volume knob in the levels adjustment area because it kind of hits the soft clipper envelope and it makes it sound way bigger and hit harder. After that, I laid down a simple two-step hi-hat pattern and a very simple snare pattern. And for the snare and hi-hat samples to make it sound a little more dated, I added in Isotope Vinyl again and kicked up the wear. It's super fun to mess with this knob because you can kind of get old sounding stuff with it. With all that laid down, this is what the drum pattern sounds like. The next thing we did was set up a melody and we used the funk 
with a ph cowbell sound you hear this in so many tiktok songs so many tiktok beats it's ridiculous and it's kind of uh, cliche at this point but you know what for what we're doing here it works really well and if you don't know this is what it sounds like You've definitely heard that before. But anyway, we took that sample, made this little, very simple melody, and we turned it down a couple octaves, and this is what it sounds like. But to make it sound a little less cliche, and like we actually put in work with it, we added some effects. First off, we added this EQ. Um, there was kind of some high frequencies in the middle low range, so we took an envelope and cut that out. We added in a limiter, which acts as a compressor too in this case, and I just used that to level out the sound. We added in Byte, which basically is kind of like a, another bit crusher unit from Native Instruments. This one adds a little more top end to the sound. And if you haven't noticed, we're gonna be using a lot of Isotope vinyl. I'm telling you guys, get it, it's free. It's a great plugin. And we added even more wear because we wanted to make it sound old. And with the effects, this is what the cowbell now sounds like. After that, we added an 808 because you can never forget the 808, and we have it just following the same progression as the kick. And I also have a little variation of that first one, and this is what this sounds like. Sounds pretty good. In addition to all that stuff, I put in some basic um, effect sounds, like a gunshot sound, um, a DJ scratch sound, and that basically just helps with the transition. So with all that being done, let's take a listen to what it sounds like. So with the beat being very simple and straightforward, I decided to try and do the Freddy Dread Suicide Boys vocal effect. Um, you're going to hear me rapping. It is not good. Not good in the slightest, but we're going to show you how to do it. All right, so I'm going to play you what I rapped with no effects. Just be kind to me, please. Be kind to me. Oh, I wake up in the morning, shades on my eyes. A rockstar life, yeah, I'm reaching to the skies. Crowd goes wild as I step on the stage. Rockstar life in the house, yeah, I'm all the rage. So yeah, that was the rapping. So let's get into the effects. So the very first thing I did was cut off most of the high end, leave the mid section, get rid of the low end. This basically adds that radio sound we were talking about. Busted out the waves compressor again. Have it set to like a two ratio, attack down, release up, threshold down, gain up. This basically just makes the sound kind of pop more. Isotope vinyl, baby. We added in another parametric EQ, this time to kind of taper um, some of the wear sound that comes from Isotope Vinyl. We use another free plugin called Vocal Doubler from Isotope. It's super good on vocals. It makes it sound wider. It's basically a stereo enhancer. And finally, we have kind of just some light reverb, very small decay. The size is super small, and the cutoff is basically so that there's no reverb on the low end, which would just muddy the sound. And finally, which you can also mess with if you have it, I highly, highly recommend this plugin, Little Alter Boy Sound Toys. I took the format knob, turned it down very slightly, and also this is a distortion section, and I turned the drive up a little bit just to kind of add some more oomph to the sound. And this is what the vocal sample now sounds like so that's basically the beat and the vocals i know i can't rap i know i'm not freddie dread i know i'm not suicide boys but you know what i tried i tried very hard so yeah guys i hope you have an awesome day make sure to like comment subscribe and let me know what kind of beat or what kind of tutorial you guys want next. So yeah, peace guys.